Hello and welcome to the third part of the Gloss Q and A special. And here I have Mr. Falcon Punch nine nine six. Yeah. Yeah. This is the third part, meaning that there's a good chance that your question might be in this video or in a different part. So all you gotta do is check the description box. That way you can see your username along with each separate topic, separated into you know little time markets, timestamps, whatever the the actual term is. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. Do that or get Falcon. Punch in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so we're we're do, we're trying to do this on a weekly basis, and I'm so far there seems to be seven people per video, so hopefully we'll keep doing this until it's finished. All right, so the first guy up is Barhum ninety nine zero Katon. Did you know that anime is incredibly popular in the Middle East? You can watch most old anime Arabic dub like Mazinger Z, Grandizer, Treasure Island, and Hope to No Ken. By the way. Kenshino is named Saif Al-Nar in Arabic, meaning Sword of Fire. Uh, well, I think you can actually help me out with this one. <laughs> yeah, because I actually live in the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't speak Arabic, but uh, I do know there is plenty of older anime that are dubbed here. Uh, I know Grandizer is a pretty huge thing over here, because there's like a lot of stores that have like anime merchandise. and You know, Grandizer is there. I think like people know Grandizer more than actually... Like, my Zinger Z and Great Mazinger. Uh -huh. um, but there's just one channel over here. It's like all Arabic dub. And like, I really wish like, I would understand Arabic so I could watch this channel. It's called like Space Tune or whatever. And basically, like the entire day, it shows like a mixture of cartoons and animes. But like the animes range from like One Piece, Detective Conan, Gintama, Fist of the North Star, <laughs> like all these animes. And there's like plenty of animes that have like Arabic dubs. I haven't heard the North Star Arabic dub. I could imagine that one kind of actually sounding cool, but like most of the Arabic dubs I've heard <laughs> haven't really been the greatest. But um, yeah, there's there's plenty of dubs out there they've done. Yeah, but uh, yeah, time, I didn't know about a, the whole sword fight. Didn't you tell me one time that Zoro had like a mismatched voice or something? So. Yeah, like I, I remember I was like watching like the One Piece dubbed one time, and it just. It didn't sound right. It just sounded like I forgot exactly how the voices were, but like they just either some character like I think Zoro sounded kind of like gay. I don't know, like, the way he would talk, like he didn't sound badass. It was just kind of like, I don't know. Forgot some of the lines again. I don't really speak Arabic. I know like very little, but um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so to answer the, your question, I basically knew that from Falcon because he told me like a long time ago about. Yeah, it was like. Years ago, four years ago. Yeah, cause, yeah, that's how I found out about Rendizer hype over there. Since like a lot of people, you said that you, they thought Mazinger Z was like a ripoff or something. Yeah, or like you know, there'd be like some places. It's just like I remember there's this one uh, at Comic Con. There's this one place. I forgot what it's called, but like the whole slogans like yeah, Arabs have swag, and it's like all these shirts representing Arab culture. But for some reason, they just have it. There's like this one shirt that's just like. Grindizer in a turban. Just whatever. It's just right there. I'm like, okay, see, like, <laughs> Grindizer has such an impact. It's just like right there. Arabs have swag. And I do know, like, over here in Dubai, they actually are making their own uh, mecha anime. I think called, like, Torkaiser. Mm -hmm. So I, it's pretty safe to assume they probably were inspired by that. But I'm not sure where that thing's been going because they've announced that since, like, 2013. Yeah. Development hell. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the next guy, J Buddy W. And we just oh, double. Yeah. The art. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know these days, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Let me see what his question is. What is your favorite sports anime or manga? Um, it's kind of a ha a little hard because uh, the one of them is. Is a superhero wrestling, which not exactly the most realistic of sports, but, <laughs> but the other one, I guess, or the answer you might be looking for would be Ashtana Joe, since uh, boxing. And honestly, I have seen very little sports anime, the most being Joe and a few episodes of Slam Dunk, um, and obviously Kaneko Man because of its wrestling. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Joe just because of the uh, more realistic gritty take on the whole boxing experience. Well, I say realistic, but there are moments where it's kind of questionable a bit. 
like uh, yeah. Rikishi being able to knock out not one but three bulls. At least in the anime, he he knocked out three bulls. <laughs> tired of their bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then again, also, I mean, Joe, like at the age of, I don't, know, I forgot his age. I know in the manga it said somewhere like how old he was when he got arrested, but. Yeah, I mean, he, he was able to pretty much knock out the whole police force barehanded. Yeah, not only that, you know, didn't he mess with some gangsters in the beginning? Yeah, he messed with some Yakuza, too. So. Yeah, like, you, he, was, he was pretty shady, man. Yeah. So, either that, but at the same time, you kind of help but wonder, like, if Joe's punches were really that strong in the beginning. I mean, even when he was in Juvie, he got beating the shit out of him, then after he got up, he beat the shit out of everybody. It's just Joe. <laughs> it's, it's just beat the shit out of everybody. That's just his thing. The name, the name's <laughs> Yabuki Joe. I beat the shit out of everybody. <laughs> yeah, because then later on in the series, you know, it gets more sports related with the uh, all the training and then trying to get the license. And basically, it, it's not like Epo where it's somewhat, somewhat pleasant. Uh, I feel like Epo has the most pleasant experience in contrast to the other characters. Like you take um, Kimura. For example, he yeah. didn't get or Aoki, but then again, Takamura kind of has it easy a bit, it's a little bit. I guess, yeah. But you know, it's like the whole struggle of the weight class. Yeah, well, then again, like it is true that Takamura is getting more than one weight class. He's getting six different weight classes, so he's gonna his weight's gonna shift a lot. So yeah. yeah. So there's that, but it's can't compared to like that shit Rikishi went. Yeah, him. Rikishi. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bro, yeah, it's too much. the spirit man. It's all about will. Like I was I'm, like hard. I'm off the water. No. <laughs> I always find it like a, such a dick move though that that girl like in order to calm him down just took him to the ocean. Yeah. I'm like, I know it's salt water, but that's just the dick know, move. He's kind of <laughs> so fucked up. Um, have you read any other Nobuyuki Fukumoto's works besides Akagi and Kaiji? If so, what was your favorite? I'm aware of his other series, like, um, I think the other one was called One Outs, which is the baseball one, or maybe I got the title wrong, but I do know he has a baseball series. But um, I didn't know that was his. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it was his. Uh, well, if it's the one with the gambling within the baseball, anything, all of his, all of his stuff is gambling. <laughs> it's a stink. Hey, there's only one series I read from him that has, like, nothing to do with gambling, and that's, uh, Strongest Man Kurosawa, or The Legend of the Strongest Man Kurosawa. Well, i never seen Akagi. The closest thing for Akagi was the Gintama parody, like, quite early with him and Madao. But, uh, oh. yeah, but Kaiji, that's the only one I saw, and I feel like that's the only one I'm ever gonna like, <laughs> with all honesty. I don't know, I feel Kaiji's like a one-of-a-kind experience that will probably be, never be replicated in any of his other works. But then again, I, I never liked um, the bog portion of the story, which just took fucking forever. It, it went on for way too long and it needed to be. It was like the Dress Rosa of its own <laughs> series. No. Yeah, the, the bog would just know, and then it kind of sucks as a live-action movie put such an emphasis on that also, so I was like, come on. Oh, Kaiji had a live action. Yeah, it had like two live action movies, I think, or three. I never got how many, but I did know it had a live action. But um, I'm trying to remember if if it was a live action or a commercial. I think it was a commercial because I remember seeing one that actually had the big nose. So more than likely, it was a commercial, not the movie. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Was like you know that that art style. <laughs> yeah, I mean everyone has like these edge edge very edge chins and. Uh, Somewhat in flat faces because most of the time it's from the side, and you can tell that the author can't draw women for shit. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, and Kurosawa, man, holy shit! Like some of the women is like, oh, look at these beautiful women. I'm like, where, <laughs> where are the beautiful women, Kurosawa? <laughs> <laughs> but Kurosawa is a really depressing um, <laughs> manga series. Like the the sum it up properly is just like it's basically this guy who's just like. Like, he's old, he doesn't really have anything much going for him in life, he has this construction job, but like, you know, barely has any family, no love life going on, he's barely liked by any of his, um, co-workers, so in the beginning of the manga, he's 
trying to get popular, and it's like a very, it's like an even more depressing version of It's Not My Fault I'm Not Popular, only the thing is, unlike that, the main character of It's Not My Fault I'm Not Popular, she's in high school, so you know, she has time to change it. Yeah. This dude is old. You know, he doesn't have time. Like it's things. either now or never. <laughs> and to make things worse, later on in the manga, he gets uh, kind of uh, ganged up by a group of uh, punk teenagers who kind of uh, embarrass him in front of his co-workers as well as beat the shit out of him. And from that day onwards, he decides to become the strongest man and have a rematch against these punk-ass kids. Yeah. That's the legend. That's, like, depressing. It's, like, a very dark comedy, but it could be super fucking depressing. But it also has its fair share of epic moments. But, yeah, that's, like, the only thing I've actually checked out from this author. I really need to go check out Kaiji yeah. and... Yeah, the problem with Kaiji is just that you need to know when to stop because this is why whenever I make a review for that, which I'm actually gonna write down like what episodes complete an arc for or game per se, because it's a very addicting anime. It's just as addicting as the gambling within the show, but it's one of the most emotional things ever. So yeah, it's probably one of the best anime I say when it comes to gambling, at least. Anyways, going to question, or person number three, I should say, with Albs. I think that's how I pronounce that. I'm not sure. I think so. Let's see. I don't know if you answered this before, but who is your favorite and least favorite JoJo, and what is your favorite part of JoJo? Alright, so JoJo-related stuff. Um, least favorite, I sort of answered that earlier in the part two, I think, which was... a. Uh, well, of the main Joe stars, I guess yeah, by default it'd be Gappy, then next line would be Johnny, then maybe somewhere, maybe Gyro, I mean not Gyro, <laughs> Jorno. But um, other characters in JoJo, like, ah. Uh... Well, you said least favorite, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Because <laughs> there's other characters that I straight up don't like, such as uh, Anosui. I just don't like him. And there's also who is your favorite. Uh, uh, here's the thing that a lot of people, like, Someone find shocking, <laughs> but if you know me long enough from like 2012, 2013, then you, you, you probably know who it is. But um, ever since the manly list, a lot of people assume that uh, Jonathan is my favorite, but uh, he's not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jonathan is honestly, I think, the second or third for me. But the number one is, um, is actually Jotaro. And the reasoning is super simplistic that no one would <laughs> could see. Uh, like the the whole the whole reason is because he punches shit. <laughs> That's about it. Because <laughs> he punches. Yeah, but you if you want me to go more in depth, it's just the whole stylish uh, design of him. The one the fact that he's closer to Kenshiro in terms of um, stoic and anger, but and Jonathan is the other half with the more um, heroic side. So if you fuse Jonathan and Potaro, you have to change. Yeah, you, you get a fusion. <laughs> you get some Potaro earrings and a fusion dance, and there you go. You got Kenshiro right there. Or, Blue well, either that or they could jam fuse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fusion dance? Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine two char dancing. <laughs> no, no, they'll, they'll just be like slowly walking and posing <laughs> that's their dance. <laughs> that's it, they just do different poses as they get closer. <laughs> Fusion pose. Yeah, <laughs> that's how JoJo fusion works. So, anyways, what is your favorite part of JoJo? The um, I'm I'm just gonna leave it that it's between one, two, and three. It's more than anything, I just like those because that's the manly portion. And then I don't know, things started change. Well, technically, things started changing since part two in tone because of Joseph and his comedic personality. And then with part three, with how um ridiculous the villains were and then yeah by the time we went to part four and that's when everything's gradually became different things over and over again but yeah i firstly preferred the first three parts uh because my first experience was with the ovas back then because you know um it wasn't 2012 yet there was no <laughs> phantom blood battle tendency anime so oh yeah, we're the OVAs, and then um, from there I went reading the manga. Then that's when all the other JoJo stuff started coming in, and yeah, so JoJo is my favorite, and I guess I should pass it to you, Falcon. Who is your least favorite and favorite JoJo? Uh, let's see, cause like right now I'm like on part five, so not all the way up there, but my favorite is Joseph, and 
most likely will always be Joseph for various reasons. It's like, it's my dude, man. <laughs> and then uh, my least favorite... I mean, I don't really hate any of the Joe stars so far. Uh, I just, like, I don't really like Jorno that much, but that's just because from what I've read so far, he's kind of like, he's just he's just there. And I felt that there was, like, so much opportunity they could have used of his character, given his backstory. Yeah. So, it's just... Yeah, and then as in terms of my favorite part, I do like part two. Uh, just because of how good it was a sequel it was, it just took everything from Phantom Blood and just, like, did what a sequel needed to do. And, you know, I like part three and everything. It's just, like, I have various problems with part three. Um, but, yeah, part two is probably my favorite for now. But, again, you know, I still have to read on to part six and then seven and then I guess wait until eight is over. But I don't know when that's going to happen. But. Yeah. yeah, I, I kind of imagine it's still gonna be like five, six years for A to finish. I'm still maybe thinking. who knows? Given my pace with manga, by the time I'm get caught up, it might be. I don't know. For chances are, the anime will come out before you finish reading. So. Maybe I don't. Know. I kind of prefer JoJo's an anime. I mean, I don't know. It's like an unpopular opinion upon manga readers, but like I just see JoJo as such an expressive series that an anime just works well for it. Yeah. Anyways, going to Thiago Betancourt. What do you think is be- is a better ultra-violent post-apocalyptic story, Fist of the North Star or Violence Jack? Well, I'm going to give it to Fist, with all honesty. Yeah. That, well, with Jack, the beginnings, I, I say, is probably more stronger since you see like how the quake happened and if, um, it continues from there. But after that, it just kind of goes... It just goes uh, short stories like here and there, and it's... Mm, I don't want to say they're bad, but at the same time, I don't feel like nothing really gets done too much. Yeah, and, like, some of them are just, like, weird. Like, there's one where, like, Jack goes to the past. Samurai Jack style. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. there's, a uh, uh, like, uh, yeah. Violence. Uh, back to the past. Violence Jack. <laughs> it's, uh, watch out. Be like, rah, rah. <laughs> Created by the guy. <laughs> and then, uh, there's like a lot of different, like, and then there's that whole, like, King of Beasts storyline, or I forgot the one in the jungle. Yeah, because, I don't know, there's just some stories which I'm like, I, I kind of would like to see the, the stories as a whole because a lot of it's not even translated. But, yeah, yeah a lot of the stories are just kind of just like random scenarios with, um, but then again, Fist of North Star, some of those, like, standalone stories too, in some ways. Yeah, but like, Violence Jack, some of them just like one shots, like the whole jungle one. That was just yeah. like, I don't know, alternate reality. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, just kind of wish there was more of a. Well, either there was more of it available or they all had like one sort of. I don't know. It could go either way. You, you could go just pure one shots or or have like an ongoing plot or something. But uh, I think Vista Norsa just had more success because, especially, you know, the anime adaptations are more presentable. And in Violence Jack, a lot of people just know that for being like an infamous uh, uh, <laughs> exploitation OVA. <laughs> yeah, it's type OVA. Yeah, you're like, yeah, anime, Japanimation, hardcore. Yeah, that's what people mostly know for Jack, and some most people won't take it seriously, even though it's pretty much just as serious as both Fist and Berserk. Well, then again, I, I do feel that the Evil Town OVA adaptation did um, go a little too far and being a little excessive. Maybe. Because then again, I mean, you see Berserk do that all the time, just the anime hasn't gotten full, ex- full exploited yet either. So, I guess it's up to debate. But anyways, yeah, Fist and North Star probably would have the better storyline. Even though it, it, its initial beginnings are purely Mad Max, and it does uh, eventually go into martial arts and more into, you know, the Fist and North Star mythos with Raul, Toki, and, and the South Star then it's basically also a manly romance, if you think about it. <laughs> gonna protect, gonna find my love, Yuria, and all that, so... Alright, next guy, next question. If your life was an anime, which anime director would you choose to animate it, and why? Well, the director doesn't necessarily animate the anime, but I don't know if this also applies to mangaka or not, but, um... My well, well, the next question is like manga artist. So. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, would you choose to draw? On? Oh, okay, I can see why. So, I don't know. I guess Dezaki just to play it safe. Postcard. Yeah, I'll solve Dezaki. Like, yeah, save the budget. 
We'll make more, like, a picture is worth a hundred words, or is it a thousand words? Look at this beautiful picture of Hero taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hero's looking at the internet. He's looking at pictures of Fujigomine. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. I don't, I don't even know what, what would the story be. It'd just be more, like, about this. Well, it's just your yeah, life. Oh, just so. yeah, Hispanic. Yeah, I don't think I don't know what would be the most interesting. It'd just be more of a Hispanic guy just trying to earn a living, trying to like live on his own. Just uh, it's the slice of life genre. Yeah, man. slice of life genre. So I guess the Zaki could make it more interesting. But then I'm kind of worried because then so, that also means that some dark shit might happen. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the only way this would work if you see me like from now all the way up to like. 40, 50 something, I don't know, or well, more, hopefully beyond that. But if your life was a manga, which manga artist would you choose to draw it? Uh, I'm trying to think, like, is there anything that's, is there an author that's somewhat. You know what, fuck it out, I'm just gonna give it to Tezuka. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna go, like, right off to, like, Borosan or something. <laughs> oh, I'm not, like, this is, my lifestyle is nowhere, it's not that manly, but. Well, no, so at least it can look like that. It would be more funnier <laughs> that way, though. It would be, but... No, nah, I'm just gonna give it to Suzuka. I feel like he, it's gonna be the most accurate it's gonna be, that someone goofy. But, yeah, because I, I'm worried if I say go on a guy, they're like, oh, walk, no, nothing no, safe. No. Nothing sacred in going to Kaizo. Nothing safe. Yeah, with Tezuka at least, like... everywhere yeah, robots. I don't know, Tezuka, maybe, maybe you could do something, so, I don't know. I go for Tezuka in his cartoony style, and then it depends. Like, who knows if he will take the story seriously or not? <laughs> it's, it's, or the quality will vary. If you like, mm, it's so so good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so so. All right, next person, and it'd be um, here we go, Patrick Kunzio. You could be a mass combination of three any anime slash manga characters. Who would they be? Uh, what's with these good <laughs> what ifs? Uh, okay, let me think about this. Uh, yeah, combined. Oh, well, okay, let me hear yours you then. Confuse yourself. Let me hear yours then. Mine, okay. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. Let me see. Three anime characters, who would they be? Let me think. This is like a tough question. Well, first, I would like to be infused with Saitama so I could be the world's strongest. Uh. One punch everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I think I actually I think I thought of my three. All right. You yeah. Go. So basically, it'd be a fusion of Lupin, Gogo, and Kenshiro. All right. yeah, yeah. So ultimate manly, <laughs> perfected manliness. I guess. Yeah. Let me see. Let me go. Ha! Huh. For me. Go for you, Saiba. Yeah. Get that, get that Mokori action, man. <laughs> like, be- <laughs> I mean, forget the diamonds unbreakable, man. My dick will be unbreakable. <laughs> and then be like Cobra, get the psycho gun. Oh. <laughs> In both areas, man. Fuck it, Armin. <laughs> Uh, psycho dick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's go. And the last one. Yeah. Fucking be Goku. I don't know. Fuck it. Go Super Saiyan. Uh, just because. And then I could eat whatever. No, actually, no. Fuck it. I'll be Toriko, so I can eat whatever the fuck I oh, want and get muscle out. I guess that'd be true. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking more masculine things, and then with Lupin, I could drive anything. Drive. I could, I could transform into anybody too. <laughs> with this case. To break out of anything, <laughs> nothing break can catch out. me. <laughs> then, except Fuji. Uh, then Kensho and Gogo. Well, Gogo, you just attract everyone, <laughs> and then snipe anyone, I guess. And then Kensho could pretty much kill anyone or fight anyone. <laughs> just... Yeah, and then it was like Cobra. I could be like the ultimate action hero. Yeah. <laughs> Could fit into any action movie I want. I know man. Cobra. Is star- Cobra. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, Rambo starring Cobra. Speed starring Cobra. Uh, I'm trying to think if it was like a wrestling movie. I don't know. Not sure. Libre starring Cobra. 
That would have been weird as fuck. <laughs> Book of Life starring Cobra. Zootopia starring <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> Cobra could be in anything, man. Action, um... <laughs> what, what was it called? Action Man or the, um... Man of Action? Man, I don't know. It's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger with the, um, the movies and the ticket. Oh, yeah, the, like... I forgot, it was, like, Lash Action Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Lash Action Hero starring Cobra. <laughs> like, Rocky uh... starring Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra starring Cobra. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That would be so awesome, uh, though. Alright, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, I just noticed that the last question was sort of the same. Wait, if you could... Oh, if you could have... Oh, no, it's the opposite. If you could have a love interest as a mass combination of three characters, who would they be? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's... Okay, so I got one right off the bat. Right. Okay, I think I got two. No, I... Okay, I got my three. No... Maybe, or maybe four. <laughs> okay, for sure one is Fujiko, because, you know, the perfect figure, without a doubt. Right. Then two, I guess, would just be the more manly spirit of Jolene, Fujo, and I guess those green lips to come with it. Those Jolly Rancher lips. <laughs> and then third, I guess the comedic nature of Lena Inverse. So, yeah... Those three, like, because my fourth option was also putting Olivia just to be sure that the lips are big enough. <laughs> I got it with mine, man. <laughs> All right, what's got what's got fucking cutie honey. Uh -huh. Fucking top tier, man. <laughs> fucking change her outfits and shit. Not to mention she could look like anyone you like. <laughs> exactly. So I don't need the, me. I don't even need the other two, but I'm still gonna go on. I'm gonna go for Lita because those lips are like. Perfect. Octopus so lips, man. <laughs> Octopus lips. I don't care. That sounds nasty, but it's fucking amazing. Yeah. And then this is the third. Don't really need it. Trying to think now. Fucking Nico Robin. Let's go. <laughs> Got it. I mean, just having Nico Robin and Honey together, that's enough, but it's okay. A little. It's just like, I went over. <laughs> yeah, a little. Just like, okay, the, the topping on top is the little lips. Oh. The cherry. Yeah. Yeah, well then again, if Jolene tastes like Jolly Ranchers, then I'm, I'm, I'm settled. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. It's green apple flavor. Yeah. Green apple. Yeah, Alright, let me count. Alright, so there's one, two, That's three, thick, four, though. five. Yeah, two more people, then this will be it. <sighs> Alright. All right. Just fuck my shit up, Ink trademark. Who is your favorite Fist of North Star character besides Kinshiro and why? This one. Wait, wait, wait. We just need to focus on this guy's name first. Just fuck my shit up, Ink Trademark. It's <laughs> an amazing name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, the only, thing, the only thing missing is the copyright C. No. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, uh, this was another one, but I, I can't think of the, uh, any other logo. But yeah, the my other character would actually be Raul or Raul, the King of Fist, the Keno. Of you know the villain of the series, the big bro of the Hokuto brothers, yeah. just because that he's just so menacing. <laughs> yeah, man, fucking king of fist. Don't oh, fuck with yeah. him. Especially you know, like the first episode of Legend of the Dark King, he just punches that dude. There is like a hole in him. <laughs> the fucking building across from him. There's a big asshole. Like, bro, like, oh, no. You just got fisted. <laughs> or no, no, no. no. Oh. Ralph. You just got king of fist. <laughs> oh my damn it, Ralph. Why he's so awesome? And then he has like the world's greatest yeah, horse. Yeah, the black king, man. He just stampedes shakes. He kills a tiger. Hey, just don't fuck with black king. Yeah, like, just don't fuck with Ralph all together. Yeah, wait, what was it? Like, uh, in Legends of the Dark King. I forgot what black king did. Like, fight off wolves no, or tigers. something. There, like, there were tigers. Okay, it was Tiger. Yeah, he yeah, killed okay, the Tiger. Yeah, I was like, shit. Yeah. yeah. There were, I think there were white Like, tigers. you know, the way Raul got Black King was kind of fucked up, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's true. It was like, I gotta kill the mayor. He was gonna die anyway. He didn't join me. But, you know, the horse was still angry as hell because he's fucking tackled him down. It said, he yeah, actually said Raul flying. That's actually what's surprising more than anything. You're the king of fists. I'm the king of hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
the ultimate brony man. All the magic ponies want to ride that black cane. <laughs> Ralph's like the ultimate brony. <laughs> like, yeah. I am the, My little king. I am the king. Black king is best pony. <laughs> I'm just imagining with like a little pink brush, just like combing <laughs> like King's mane. Like good boy, <laughs> you've stomped many today. You can you can have all the horse ass you want. <laughs> like, As like a separate kingdom for his <laughs> left king. Some for horses. horses. <laughs> like all the horses in the world just belong to Black King. Oh god, so it's like is it like the same thing from Tony Cole with all that horses? Yeah, Black King's in the center. Everyone else is like, mm, bow down to the king. Black King was the original Dharma horse. Yeah, yeah the king, Rao, was just like, I, I, I don't know, like, it, it's always debatable, kind of, what's manly, well, I guess man, Kensho's manly just because he accepted love, you know, out of the open, in contrast to Rao, but Rao's, like, masculinity is, like, super up there. And I, Especially, man, like, towards the end of the first part, like, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... The whole final battle of Ken and him. I know, so especially the how he even threw the fight, too. So I'm just like, he, he went there knowing he was going to die. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. And, like, that last moment, man, he was, like, the ultimate bro. Like, I gave this to Yuri. Yeah. Was, <laughs> I'm like, oh! Like, go to Yuri now. <laughs> like, it's, like, the ultimate, like, wingman right there. And then, obviously, he, no. the way he goes out, too, is just like, I don't need help to go to heaven. I know, that was just so... That was probably, like, the most badass thing. Like, I don't need your help to go. I'll go there myself. <laughs> Lifts his hand up. I'm like, oh, bro. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so amazing that even in all... I think in every game where you can play as Rao, like, he, he always gets KO'd in the same way. Like, he just lifts his fist up in the air, and then... Especially in J-Stars, that's, like, such a moment... That I, I don't know how many people that don't know too much about this or play that game will never realize the, the importance of that scene. So epic. Actually, Rao's scene is just as iconic as Ashton no Joe's, I say. It is. It is. Yeah, so I think that's enough for Rao. And the last question, DJ, destroy us all, 172. Congrats. Question, what fighting games do you like? Uh, admittedly, I haven't played too much fighting games, but um, the ones that I did like playing was like Smash Brothers, and but you know the strange thing is I say that, but I still haven't played the Wii U one. Like I played uh, 64 Melee and Brawl, but yeah, I haven't played the Wii U version. And then um, J Stars, I, I just wish that was a better game. And I don't know, it's it's the Raging Blast that upsets me more than anything, and the fact that it wasn't gonna be like. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom style, where you could actually swap between the three characters you use. I was gonna... Yeah, no, yeah. it's the kind of crossover game we need. Yeah, I was like hoping a... for that, where you could swap your characters. Otherwise, even though you got your other two people and assists, it just doesn't feel like you're you're using all three characters, really. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I like fighting games. The problem is, just like for me, gaming in general, I kind of like suck at gaming. But I really like fighting games because, like, you know, you got the crazy cast of characters and all the cool moves. And, like, when you pull them off, you feel so yeah. cool, but you could probably never do it again. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just me. Yeah, because there's some characters I just like the designs a lot. Like, from, well, from Marvel vs. Capcom, I just like all the Devil May Cry cast. Because they're so stylish. Yeah. <laughs> Style. Yeah. And then, you know, like, and the like, Street Fighter is cool and everything. And then, like, I have Tekken, but I have a friend, and whenever he comes to my house, he just, like, absolutely wrecks me. In Tekken, like I don't even have a chance to breathe. I'm just dead. Yeah. You know, one game I used to play with my cousin back in Houston was um this was years ago was um I'm not sure which game it was actually. I want to say it was SNK versus Capcom, or unless it was like a movie that he had on his Xbox. I'm, I'm not sure, but I do remember um picking um characters from Fatal Fury. One was Terry, and I think it was SNK because I remember the other character was um. I can't remember if it was Keo or Rio, but he had like a, a bandana and he would shoot like fire projectiles from his hand. And the third person I would constantly swap, but I knew the first one was Terry from Fatal Fury because he had the cap and on. And um, yeah, the Street Fighter characters are something that I like, and especially the Dark Soccer designs. It really comes down to design more than anything stuff so from Pris Crimson Viper, Chun Li, uh, Guile's hair. <laughs> it's just... Guile's fucking yeah, hair. Yeah, <laughs> Guile. And then the new character, Rashid. I like him. 
Yeah, I haven't like that love to the middle. Yeah, I haven't checked too much of the new characters. I did play Mortal Kombat a bit. Mostly just the um, Mortal Kombat X, I think, or the most recent one. I forgot what the one, the one with you know the Predator alien and. Oh yeah, that's that's XL. Yeah, XL or eleven. <laughs> I still need to get that. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, because um, for Mortal Kombat and like yeah, uh, uh, besides the obvious Scorpion, Scorpion and um, and uh, oh my God, Sub Zero, oh, shit, I can't believe I forgot yeah. that. <laughs> and I guess uh, and all those color palette swaps. Yeah, no, or Raiden, aka Smoke, Satan. Reptile. Yeah, uh, I don't know why, but I always like the. Um, Kitana's design also, the, just the yeah. blue. But then again, for some reason, it just seems attractive having I mean, like a, a woman with with a, with a mask covered, and then you just see their eyes and hair. I don't know. Yeah, well, most of the yeah, and there's also Melina, but then you see her face. And, like, yeah, Melina just like oh, yes. hide those teeth, please. <laughs> no, please. I like monster girls, but not like that. <laughs> Baraka. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Baraka. Yeah, they're... Nasty. Then there's the one character Boracho, which is such an obvious joke called Boracho. So mm. drunk, drunken fist, but I don't really like well, I just wanted to comment that character. But yeah, the Dark Starkers, um I'm I'm gonna mention this in a pickups video pretty soon that I seen the OVA for that. And I I found myself really liking Donovan and really liking Sienko for some reason and I don't know, I was just like something about those long sleeves I just thought it was just super outrageous and somewhat cool. No, either that or... Shanko's like the blue girl. Yeah, right? yeah, the blue girl. She's actually a Chinese yeah. vampire. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe I gotta think for Chinese vampires instead of the European ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I remember I saw that because like, I first came across that in, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, because there's something like... It's in their mythology because um, there's a lot of those in Shaman King also, but I think instead there were zombies with those tags. Yeah, yeah but you know, I would have to... Supposedly Chiatsu. Chiatsu was like... Yeah, Spider-Man. one of those things. But yeah, there's like I can't really say a favorite per se because there's a couple of games that I played, but I think it's more like I need to play more or something. Because a game that I would want to play would be the um, the JoJo Capcom game, but that's no longer on. I don't think that's on the PSN network anymore because I was looking for it and it's not there. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I tried looking for it. Too. I saw it one time, but I didn't have money, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then when I went back to look for it, I couldn't find it anymore. I was like, shit. Yeah, cause... Same thing with Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you can't really find it there anymore either. Yeah, because yeah, there's some games that I definitely feel like I should in like try, or like Dark Starters or something, so... Yeah, may- maybe those things. You yeah, can probably get those with PSN. Yeah, hopefully. So yeah, that would wrap up today's question- this week's questions. Yeah. Yeah.